morning, guys. I'm up. I just did five minute standing abs routine. I like to do that to get the blood flowing first thing in the morning. Now, I'm gonna get dressed. I had a claw clamp break a nail and gave up the ghost. <laughs> This sunscreen is kind of like a cool drink of water on your face. It feels nice. Cool. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way out to run errands. I've been getting some questions about do all sunglasses protect well against UV rays? You want to make sure that your sunglasses say 100% protection from UVA or UVB or 100% protection from UV 400. Now, if you don't know that, you actually can take your sunglasses into an op optician and they'll actually test them for you for free. Now, I suggest the wraparound kind of sunglasses if you're going to be outside doing like sports and stuff, water activity in particular, because it provides some protection. But you do not have to drop a lot of coin on sunglasses to get good protection. Don't think that you have to have expensive sunglasses to have good UV protection. You absolutely don't. I know you guys are thrifty and always looking out for deals. Speaking of deals, I'm on my way to Kroger. I've been racking up a ton of points through the Drop app because I have a card linked offer on Kroger. Today's video is in partnership with the Drop app. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Drop app. I've been using it for years. What the heck is the Drop app? It's the easiest to use rewards app that gives you points back when you make purchases at your favorite retailers like Sephora. And those points you can later redeem for gift cards within the app. Uh, places like Starbucks, now that it's pumpkin spice season, you know. Trader Joe's is on there. Using the Drop app is really easy too. You just create an account and you wanna link your credit card or debit card because one of the best things about the Drop app is the exclusive card linked offers. You just go into the card tab and make sure again that you've linked your credit or debit card and uh, activate exclusive card linked offers at retailers like Kroger for me. You can also do Trader Joe's, a variety of gas stations like Exxon. Once you shop at those retailers, it's linked through your credit card. So the Drop app automatically gives you points for those retailers. So make sure you're not missing out on those. But then I never shop without checking the Drop app first. It's really easy. All you have to do is go into the app and go to the shop page and tap on the offer that you're interested in and then it'll take you to that merchant's website like Paula's Choice for example or Sephora and then you can shop on the website within the app just as you normally would complete the checkout process as you ordinarily would and then drop will automatically give you points back when you complete the checkout process within the app. Those points, again, you can later redeem for gift cards and you can actually get points without even spending any money. That's, a, that's another good thing. You can go into the app and do little games, take little surveys. So to get started with the Drop app, go ahead and download the app using the link in my description box, either the App Store or Google Play. Use my code because right now, Drop is giving away $10 in the form of points. That's 10,000 points when you earn your first 1,000 points. And that's really easy to do. I mean, you'll be there in nothing flat. So thank you, Drop, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This construction, I know I complain about it all the time, but it is getting wilder and wilder. And it causes a lot of traffic congestion. What, dry, what I find mind-bottling, mind <laughs> Comment below if you know what movie that's from. What I find mind bottling is the size of the holes that they have to dig. I've been getting some comments in some of my videos about my lip gloss. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. <laughs> it's the Lancome Juicy Tubes. I have the shade Magic Spell and I am loving this. It stays on really well and it's not drying. Magic Spell, Lancome Juicy Tube. So that's what I've been wearing on my lips. It's starting to cool down, you guys. It's starting to cool down a little bit. It's it's like where it cools down for a couple of hours. For a couple of hours. I'm in one of those sing-song moods where everything I say is going to trigger a song in my head. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Anyways, um, yeah, a couple of hours it'll be like 88 and we're all like, brr. <laughs> It may be boiling outside, but you can guarantee
plastic tea is gonna be freezing inside. We have to keep the interiors ice cold, the AC a pump in, because the humidity, it'll just, yeah, I don't know. If you know, you know. I don't really use Yelp for restaurant reviews because they're not reliable. I just mostly use use Yelp to find restaurants and then to look at the pictures of like, you know, kind of the location and stuff. I find the pictures useful anyways. I, I feel like in reviews, people need to comment on the relative frigidity. There needs to be some kind of scale because many restaurants are cold, but some are insufferably cold. And if you don't have like a coat, it's just, it's just not doable. And I'm, you know, people talk about getting, being hangry. They need a term like that for when you get too cold. I get really crabby if I get cold, really crabby. I'm okay to, you know, I don't have a problem if I'm overheated. I'll be like, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> but if I'm cold, watch out. Fangs are out. I am not a pleasant person to be around when I get cold. That is why I moved away from places where there's snow because I, while snow is pretty, I do not like to be cold. I just don't like it. Yeah, more on sunglasses. What else can I tell you guys about sunglasses? They're important not only for protecting the skin around your eyes um, from the sun, but also your vision. Really important for pr protecting your eye health, your eyeball health. Because UV rays, they, they damage a lot. I mean, I don't know, people are always like, aren't you a little extreme with the sun protection and everything? But it's like, if people took sun, sun protection as seriously as they took staying away from cigarettes, people have gotten really good about at least knowing that cigarettes cause cancer, avoiding them, avoiding secondhand smoke. Can you imagine if people, if more people felt that way about sun protection? Because UV rays are, you know, carcinogen. And they used to bill cigarettes as healthy way, way, way back in the day. They used to be like, it's so healthy to smoke. Doctors used to prescribe cigarettes for a while. Um, and yes, getting some sun exposure is healthy, but you can get a healthy amount of sun, sun exposure and still be wearing sunscreen and still get more than adequate amounts of vitamin D. Sunscreen does not block vitamin D. That is a myth. But one thing I wanted to comment on that, because I've been doing a lot of these videos lately, chit-chatting with you guys about things celebrities say as it relates to skincare, and you guys really seem to be enjoying those, and they're a lot of fun. But one thing I was noticing, when, especially when I was preparing for the video on why J.Lo doesn't age and like looking at celebrities who don't seem to age, a lot of people are going to say like, yeah, it's because, you know, they have a maid and they, you know have this like macrobiotic healthy diet that no one can afford but them and all of these other things. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure those things help. But one thing I think in general, people are not showing as much as, people are not showing the visible signs of aging to the same extent as they used to given, in a given decade lapse because of course of all these bells and whistles we can add on, which, you know, if you're financially well off, you can afford and you know, whatever. But I think as a whole, one thing that helps us all is that they banned smoking in public places. I really think that that has helped people's health tremendously because when I was a kid, you could still smoke on airplanes. And that was miserable. Being in a pressurized cabin on an airplane with smokers, that will, I mean, that, that definitely has health consequences, including damage to your skin. But back in the, you know, 50s and 60s, people smoked, more people smoked, people smoked indoors you were constantly surrounded by that. And I think back then people, like in old Hollywood, I think people, oh Lord, we have one of those, I can't stand it when the light goes out and it's like a free for all at these major intersections. Like what am I supposed to do here? 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Fingers crossed. We're doing it, we're doing it. I think people like old Hollywood, for example, because that's, that's what I'm talking about, like actors and stuff. Obviously, they had a ton of money, but they weren't spending it on like macrobiotic foods and like all the best trainers and everything. They were spending it on booze, cigarettes, drugs, all that stuff that we didn't know was as bad. Not that celebrities don't do all dabble in that now, but I think there's greater awareness that it's not so good for your health in the long run. You know, I've been watching a lot of Laura Jean Atelier, so that's how I know some of this stuff about like old Hollywood's um, habits. Speaking of habits, one person she covered, I wouldn't consider them old Hollywood, but <laughs> they are from another generation, is David Bowie. He allegedly, according to her video, allegedly he subsisted on, for a while, milk, red bell pepper, and cocaine. She don't like, she don't like, she don't like cocaine. Comment below and if you know who that is, you mellowed out. You know, a lot of psychiatric illnesses, I'm not saying he had a mental illness, but it got me thinking. A lot of psychiatric illnesses, they do kind of mellow out a bit like for example schizophrenia um i think it's worse i think all mental illnesses are severely at their peak like really bad in people's like 20s and 30s and then they start mellowing you know it's like almost like the brain this is just an idea it's almost like the brain kind of i don't know either adapts or or something. Not to say that people don't still struggle with their mental illnesses in, in later ages. I just think that the intensity of symptoms, I think it tends to be stronger in your 20s and 30s. Let me know what you guys think though about that. It's just hard to say because everybody that I know that's in their like 70s and 80s, obviously they were around when they were in their 20s and 30s talking about mental health so openly was completely taboo. So it's really hard to say. But I do kind of just, taking a step back, I do kind of think that psychiatric illnesses, their symptoms, I think they are more intense in like your 20s, 30s. Because there is a lot of societal pressure to achieve these certain milestones. I think that just really, you know, brings out a lot of stress for people, poor sleep, and poor sleep, it feeds into mental illness. And if your mental illness is related to substance abuse, then that causes poor sleep and causes worse stress. Yeah, it's a slippery slope. Speaking of stress, I've got to get over. One of the most stressful things I have to do is to change lanes. Speaking of sunglasses, you can get the Kirkland Signature Polarize. Now, polarization just helps reduce reduce glare. Um, $24.99. Impact resistant. See, 100% UV protection. I mean, most sunglasses are Skechers, $26.99. Durable and lightweight. These Belova ones are $29.99, an iconic American brand since 1875. How come I've never heard of Belova? Don't they make watches? C. Jane Work, faux leather desk set. Dry erase boards are really good for studying. That's what I always enjoyed using to test my memorization skills. I just write stuff out from memory on a dry erase board. Those of you who are in school, how has the start of the school year been going for you? Are you in person or are you virtual? I can't imagine. I think I might actually like virtual school. I always had a, a longing to be homeschooled because I thought it would be more efficient. I, was, I had friends who were homeschooled and I was always jealous because they could like get ahead and stuff and then have more free time to do other things. Check out the Sharpie Metallic 
mix pack, 40 count, $20. Ultra fine and fine and metallic chisel. I got the Lucky Brand drawstring pants. Lucky Brand, the PJs that I got from here a while ago, it was like a set with shorts. They're really comfortable and really soft, smooth material. These pants look good too. Oh wow, Costco already has the hot chocolate bombs out. These were a big hit last year. They were like really popular. There were lots of like DIY versions. Strawberry, salted caramel, cinnamon. Hmm. Let's go got an actual pumpkin spice, the Spice Lab. It has cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, allspice, and clove. I just ran out of pumpkin pie spice. Is this the same thing? They're just eliminating the pie to be vogue. I came over here to Michael's. Isn't this adorable? The Oreo cookie house. I love doing those. What the heck is that supposed to be? Ooh, those are cute. Is it paint? It's like a little dog pumpkin. I can And DIY your own Halloween sign. What the heck is that supposed to be? Like a baby egg sundae? I'm confused. Artist sketchbox. These are kind of nice. Little journals. I like that pattern. I'm getting these stickers by Sweet Kawaii Design. I know what you guys are thinking, just what she needs, more stickers. But I'm actually running low and these are really cute. But I'm here in line waiting and they have these Bob Ross Happy Little Tree Mints. I thought that was hilarious. And this is a new candy this year, the Caramel Apple Chunks. I was always a fan of the pumpkins in these Halloween peeps. They have cats, pumpkins, ghosts, and skulls. I came over here to Ross just because it's kind of picked over. Mm -hmm. I have a cute Happy Harvest outdoor mat. That's cute. I'm not even a Disney fanatic. And I think that's cute. <laughs> that's pretty. That'd be nice for like rings and e earrings and stuff. It's $9.99. What is Martha sniffing there? How cute, it's a little pumpkin serving container. That is adorable. Watch this YouTuber chop vegetables on a circular cutting board and the power of suggestion. I now want one, but this Martha Stewart one doesn't look big enough for my veggie chopping desires. Ooh, that was nice. Some cute mugs in here. Coffee is a hug and a mug. I could not agree more. This kind of looks good. The Thai style green curry spice blend. If it were in a regular store, I would probably buy it, but I'm skeptical of spices from Ross. They may be stale. That looks good just because it's French. <laughs> like it would be better than Smuckers. <laughs> Ooh, sour cherry jam. Jam seems like a safe thing to buy at Ross because it's you know, meant to last forever. Ooh, we get a pumpkin spice syrup from Chalk Zero. This looks like maybe leftover from last year. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been getting some work done on the computer, but I wanted to show you the stickers that I got at Michael's. They're really cute. these palette scrapers. I got them on Amazon a while ago. They're really good for tearing washi tape and getting a straight line. Meal prep. 
And they're a good size for my Erin Condren planner. Got some check boxes. I like those too, the hearts. These were on sale actually. They were priced at $10 and they were on sale for $5.99. Grocery list. Then these little cute, don't worry, pee happy. These are really functional. They go with my life too. These are cute too. Squeeze the day. And these are some headers or washi tape. I like the little market. It's cute. And of course, produce. <laughs> you guys know I love my fruits and veggies. And I just love these too. Appointment, errands, chores, groceries, time to go shopping. I thought they were really nice. Then some blank, well, you know, you can put the time there, an appointment or something. Little reminders. Meals planned for the week. grocery cart. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize there were so many in here. And I bought myself another pair of these Betsy Johnson dangle earrings, the daisy ones that I wear a lot, that a viewer sent me as a gift. Um, I went on Amazon, they actually have quite a few, um, quite a bit of jewelry from Betsy Johnson. And I got these because I thought they were nice for fall. They kind of are like pink. So I just love these earrings, they're really pretty. Jewelry, stickers, coffee, books. These are the things that make me happy. All right, I wanted to share with you guys something. The Aven Tolerance Control Soothing Skin Recovery Cream I have here, or really any facial moisturizer, you can use around the delicate skin of the eyelids. Um, as an eye cream. As a matter of fact, that is what I have been doing with this. So you don't need a separate eye cream. And the reason it's helpful to put a little moisturizer around the delicate skin of the eyelids is think of how thin the eyelid skin is. And at night, your skin is already, you're already losing more water out of the skin because a lot is going on as you sleep. And if you, if you sleep during the day, just reverse everything I'm saying for daytime. When you sleep, uh, you lose more water out of the skin as your body is healing and repairing throughout the day. And that can lead to a lot of dryness and more irritation. So you really, you know, benefit from using moisturizer around the eyelids in the evening. Plus, it reduces eyelid sensitivity, which will allow you to better tolerate sunscreen around the eyes, which is super important. And a lot of people neglect to put sunscreen around the eyes either because they don't know they need to or because they just don't tolerate it because the skin there is so thin yeah oh anyways guys i'm getting the x light um so i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here definitely make sure you check out the drop app it's a great way to save yourself some extra cash redeem those points for gift cards and if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe! I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!